Here I'm marking the bad side of my board and an arrow pointing towards the top. I'll slide my board in with the top facing towards the right. Line the end of your board up with one of these markers. Then push the clamp in. You can twist over here to tighten or loosen the C-clamp. First you hold the on button and bring the panel router to the very bottom. Start by chipping away just a little at the bottom and the very top. Be patient with your cuts as it will probably take two to three passes to cut through all of that wood. After routing, remove the clamps. Our second cut is labeled middle groove and it's for the toolbox shelf. Oh no, this doesn't fit. That's okay, we can still use this C-clamp up on top and also these vice grips on either side. Here's where that second line will cut. Just like a haircut, I'm gonna take a little off the top and then some off the bottom. This is to protect your wood from tearing out on the ends. As the sign reads, make sure your last pass goes from the bottom to the top of your piece. To release your piece, pull apart the handles on the vice grips and loosen the C-clamp at the top. The last groove we need to cut is on the bottom, which is also called a rabbit. Turn on the table saw this way and turn it off just like this. Stop it. Get some help. So after I line up the bottom of my piece against the saw blade and the fence, I'm going to keep it pushed firmly down and also against the fence while I'm making this cut. It's perfectly fine and even recommended to run it through twice. Now just apply these same principles when cutting out your back, cut the two grooves and the rabbet on the bottom. And then you should end up with something like this, where all the grooves line up so that you can put the box together with the shelf and the web frame.